in, in the first one, they say R is 2 and S is, is 6. Okay? And so, um, what you want to do there is plug them in. That's all. So, what that means is you take uh, 2 times R, which is 2, and 2 uh, and, and plus 4 times S, which is 6. And then uh, do the math. So 2 times 2 is 4. Wow. Okay. 2 times 2 is 4. And 4 times 6 is 24. And then we add them and we get. Okay, and then they have you do it again with with uh, different numbers. So then they say do it with a two R plus four S with something like I don't know. Uh, R is equal to 8 and S is equal to 5. And then you just, again, plug it in. So 2 times 8 plus 4 times 5. And you do the math. And 2 times 8 is 16 plus 4 times 5, which is 20. And 16 plus 20 is 36. And if that seems easy, great. <laughs> because it's supposed to be. It's supposed to, you know, it's supposed to just give you that introduction to, to pre-algebra, to algebra. Okay? Um, so let's look at a, a harder problem. Okay? And let's look at... Um, Four A plus um, three B, and then um, oh, let's divide it by two, just to make it really, really, really hard, right? And um, and so A is going to equal. Let's do. Uh, Four and B will equal. Well, let's not confuse ourselves with the four. Let's do five, and then B will will be equal to. Let's do something like uh, uh, six. That way, there's different numbers everywhere. You know where the number went and I plug them in. Okay. So now I got four times A, which is five, plus. 3 times B, which is 6, all divided by 2. So then I have 4 times 5, which is 20, plus 18 divided by 2. So then I have 20 plus 18, which is divided by 2. And then I have 18. one more. 19. 19. Because 99 nine is 8. Carry the 1 for 3. Okay? So that one was a tough one. And again, 2 goes into 3 one time with 1 left over, and then 2 goes into 18 nine times. So that's a way to do that short division that we worked on at the beginning. Okay? Um, a little tougher problem, right? How much time we got? Plenty of time. 
So, might as well go into the next part of the test. So the next part of the test deals with um, like terms, I think, right? Um, do we not do like terms on this test? Well, let's do another one of these problems and then this problem is still uh, plugging in. So I'm going to do pro a, a real hard one for you. Let's look at problem number 26. And it's, well, uh, I guess it's not too hard. But yeah, let's do it. A times C minus B times C minus A times B. Whereas... A is equal to negative 3, B is equal to 6, and C is equal to negative 2. Okay? So in this case, A is negative 3, C is negative 2, B is 6, C is negative 2, minus A is negative 3, and B is 6 again. So, it's just a point of plugging in the numbers, right? And then do it. Now it's just the same as we've always done, doing the math. So negative, negative, make a positive, and that's 6. And then minus, and then 6, and so a positive and a negative make a negative, boom. So we'll, we'll keep that like that, and that's 12. Okay, and then we'll bring this negative down, just like we brought that one down. And a negative times a positive is a negative with 3 times 6 is 18. Then what we'll do is we'll write another step and get rid of these double negatives. So two negatives make a positive, two negatives make a positive, and now I'm able to do the actual math, which is 6 plus 12, 18, bring this down, plus 18, and now I have 36. Okay, make sure they did it right, yep, okay. So, can I look at your really quick? So, and the last thing that is on your test, since I do have oh, 16 minutes left, or 6 minute, minutes left, um, I want to go over the last part. And the last part is just collecting of like terms. So I'm going to do a real easy one, and then we'll do um, a little harder one. Okay? So, the real easy one is like... 3t plus 5t, okay? So how many t's are there? Actually, there's 8. There's 3 t's here, because 3t, three, 3 times t. So there's 3 t's plus 5 t's, so there's 8. Okay, see how that worked? I know it looks like just two, but that's because we're kind of saying, and, and, and in the same aspect, think of it like this. Three uh, happy faces plus five happy faces make eight. Simple. And so happy faces and T's and X's and whatever you want to think of later on in, in pre-calc you'll see uh, theta and omega and uh, beta and alpha and you know they're 
all those symbols are just the same thing. They're just symbols uh, for numbers that can be replaced like we were doing before. Remember we were just saying, oh, A is 3 and B is 6. They were symbols for to be replaced by numbers at some point. And that is the basis of, of algebra. Okay, and so and then we're going to start working with these symbols by adding mul multiples of them up. Okay, so then we've got something like this. 3A plus 2B minus A plus 5B. Okay, and so in this aspect we need to just collect um, apples and bananas, but the apples can't be mixed with the bananas, right? Because um, we're not making a smoothie, we're adding them up, we're trying to figure out how many we have. And it, so when I look at it, I like to just go, okay, there's, there's an A, oh, there's an A. Any more A's? Okay, then well, let's look at the other things. Oh, here's a B, and here's a B. So I use these lines to show me, oh, this is one thing that's like, and here's another thing that's like. And now I just collect all my like terms. So all my A's are all my apples. I add up 3 plus a negative. So in other words, I had 3 apples, and someone came and ate it, 1. So now how many do I have? And I have 2. So one, 3 minus 1 is 2. And then 2 plus 5 is 7. And that is how you do... Um, like terms. How's that? Not too bad? Alright, let's step it up one level. And then that's it for the whole test. And I'll go really fast because i got two minutes. Okay, here it is. Three A plus two B squared plus 5a squared minus 5a plus 3b squared minus 10a squared. Okay? So again, it ain't going to get harder than this on the test, but we need to know how to do it. So, my a's I've got my A's. Any more A's? No? Any B's? No B's, no C's. Oh, but there's a there's an A squared and there's a B squared. So that's what I'm, I'm going to look at. I'm going to look, okay, my, my B squareds. That's different than this. It came next. So I'm going to look for those. Okay, there's some right here. Okay. And my A's and my A squares, those are different. An A squared is different than an A. Okay? So you can't add those together. So that is why I kind of threw that in there at the last second. Because I want you to see that those are different. They have to be added differently. Okay? Apart. Separately. So, now I take my A's and I got 3 minus 5 is minus 2A. And then I have my b's squared, so 2 plus 3 is plus 5b squared. And then finally, my a squares, so I have 5a squared minus 10a squared, and I got minus 5a squared. Okay? Now later, we'll teach it, everything's alphabetical order, right? And also everything's done in degrees. So next semester, we'll teach you that this one actually goes first, and then the B squared, and then your single variable.